Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a podcast. And today, I am with Ta. This is a new channel that we made. It's Ta and GDM29. It's a podcast. We podcast, react, and we do gaming. Um. So, yeah, Ta, welcome up. What's up? And today, we're going to see. I have a few questions for Ta here. And uh, I, I have a few questions for him. Um, this is a Stranger Things questions for him. And, by the way, there are spoilers. So, if you have not watched Volume 1 yet, do not continue watching this podcast wait till after then come watch it if you want to but um yeah this is just a great great season i think this is one of the best probably the best season so far stranger things um season four with max was probably the best episode i've ever seen in my whole life from certain things i almost made brought almost made me tear up a little bit i ain't gonna lie to y'all but um yeah so ty here's your first question um what do you think will happen in volume two um I feel like a bunch, like a couple of characters are gonna die, and we're gonna see more into how the upside down became what it is, and how the characters are gonna deal with that leading up into season five. Okay, great answer. So my second question now is: Were you expecting the Henry Quill like transition from 001 Krill? Sorry. Not at the start, but as it kept going on, I kind of figured out that that's what it was kind of hinting at the whole time. And it was kind of a twist, but they hinted at it pretty much the whole season or what we got of the season. Okay, that's a great answer. I, I'll have to agree with you on that. Um, My third question is, who will die? In volume two. I think the the most definite character death would probably probably be Will. Yeah, like you know, like the most you know logical death. Yeah. I mean, I really don't want Eddie to die, but you know, like you know how they always you know bring a character for in one season, have him be you know, a lovable character, and just die at the end of, you know, on the finale. It's, you know, Bob. Look at Bob. Look at um, Billy. Billy. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. Look at all these characters that are amazing characters they bring in for one or two seasons and then die. They're dead. You know, that's just, it's awful. I don't know why they do that. But you know, in my opinion, somebody has to die this season. Somebody has to die, and I, I don't know who yet. But I'm I'm thinking Will because of the art painting he has. But you know, it's just it's a weird it's a weird thing. It could be Lucas, could be Max. You know, like she already skipped him, escaped Vecna once, but can she do it again? We we don't know. We'll, well, maybe we'll figure it out this July 1st. But my fourth question is, how will they die? The character that you think will die, how will they die? I feel like with Will, there's still a connection between him and the Mind Flare. I feel like there's going to be a connection between him and Vecna somehow. And it's going to cause Will to die when they kill Vecna. Okay, okay. Well, the only thing I have a question about that is, though, like, you know, the, the Mind Flayer. The Mind Flayer died in Season 3, but Will didn't die. That's the only thing that... Not, that's what don't make sense to me, though. That's... I mean, I mean, but, you know, it came out of Will in Season 2, the, in, the, in the finale. But he still had, like... He still had powers to feel when it was, like, close, when he was activated. When Bill... You know, in the sauna test, when Billy was activated, he was like, he's here. You know, that's what yeah. he did. And I think it's just me... Volume 2... Two episodes long, four hours and thirty minutes long combined, which is ridiculous. That's like three episodes, four episodes for one, for one uh, volume, which is ridiculous. On um, the last episode is two hours and seventeen minutes long, which is ridiculous as well. Um, I believe somebody will die. I don't know who yet, but I do believe it will be either Will or Lucas or Max. That's my pick right now. But my fifth and final Stranger Things question is: Will Vecna die? Will, do you think Vegna will die in Season 4, or do you think they're going to have him in Season 5 as well? I think it's going to carry over into Season 5, because on the posters, and it could just be for the posters, but I feel like with the way they have the posters set up, that's going to be the end of Season 4, is them walking into the Upside Down to fight Vegna. That's exactly what I think as well. Um, my sixth question, which is not a strange question, but it's about Call of Duty coming out. 
do you think that this COD would be decent? Because the past CODs that we've had, they've been well. The best I can say is not so good. I can't say I can't say what I want to say because you know we're this is a family friendly live stream, <laughs> not even live stream, but podcast. Um, it's just you know. I hope the card's good because I've been playing card all my life. I've been playing it since I've been a kid. Like, really, like four or three years old, I've been playing this shit. Um, but it's just, I hope, I hope it's good. The past three we've got have been awful. Like, Vanguard, bleh, Code of War, bleh, terrible games. So, so, you know, like, give me some, you know, info on that and what do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to play more into the old Modern Warfare 2 in some part. Like, the play styles that people are going to develop throughout after the game releases, I feel like that's going to develop more like the classic Modern Warfare 2. Okay. And the graphics are honestly really good because... It's a, it's a step up from the past couple of years. Okay, okay, that's actually a great answer. Um, so multiplayer wise, what do you think that they're gonna change up? I know the attachments and gunsmiths have changed a little bit, but like per, do you think they're gonna have like like stopping power back, scavenger pro, stopping power pro, and like, stuff like that, or do you think they're gonna have same old same old? I think they might bring back old perks. The only one I hope they don't bring back is Last Stand. Yeah, Last Stand was a pain in my ass. I, 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 ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. The pain in my ass as well. Um. So, my question for you is, do you have any questions for me? I don't have a question, much so as a theory Okay. on Stranger Things. Okay, let's hear it. So, in the past seasons, the Mind Flare used... Billy and Will is spas. Okay. And from what we've got from the cast, s- describing the season is imposter. And that's one word one of the cast used to describe the season. So, I feel like there's a, a character that's being used as a spa. Okay. And that character is the counselor because because she, she has a necklace that is in the shape of a key and in her house there's a clock that is shaped like a key mm-hmm. so It's a theory of her being a spa just because it's kind of referencing at she has something to do with the whole clock storyline. Okay. Yeah, um, and what's great about that is that the clock and the crow house have like a key entering. Some people said that some people said like she is like the key of of Vecna, which is weird to say, but she could be the key to get into Vecna's mind. Yeah. And how to you know I mean, this is what I, I say about that. I mean, they have to do something. I mean, I mean like, would it work to burn down the, the crew house? I mean, just burn it down to the ground. I mean, and, and if the clocks are still up, put the key in that thing, turn it, and, you know, like, whatever you can change about it, and change it up. Because, I mean, yeah. you know, like, what's going on now? Every character is in, every single character right now is in depth. Like, like they need help. And the only person that can help them is L. In my opinion, I, that's what I believe personally. Um, maybe Callie come back. Maybe a new number. Maybe I mean they're all dead, really. I mean they're all dead except for Callie. I don't know how she escaped that crap, but she did. Maybe using her powers. I'm not sure. Well, that leads me to another theory. Eddie. Okay. In the scene after they finish the D and D campaign, when. He unfolds his arms. He's always wearing a watch on one arm. And it's in the same spot as where numbers would have their number. 
And when he was doing the drug deal with Chrissy, he said his hair was buzzed. So that kind of leads me and a bunch of people to believe that he is a number. Yeah, yeah. See, like, reading a few, like, fan-made scripts and stuff like that before the season even came out, there was a lot of theories about 80 months and being a number, and, and I could see it being 007, you know, because, I mean, in the if, if you look, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't, I never saw an 007 doll in the lab, and it could be back in 79, but I don't remember seeing an 007, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Or, now this is some theories I've heard about this. He could be 010, or 010, and he didn't die. He just broke his arm. He was knocked out. That could be a, that could, I've heard something about that. And even the Duffer Brothers have said that, 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 like, you know, the biggest twist hadn't even happened yet. And that's ridiculous to hear. I mean, we already had three or four, maybe even five twists that already happened. Like, I don't know, maybe that retard... Jason believing that Eddie was still the vessel for the devil or something. That was a twist, if you ask me. After saying what happened to Patrick, he should already let him out see what's going on with him. Um, even, even you know, the Peter slash Zayna slash O one slash Henry thing was ridiculous. He has a lot of names, by the way, which is ridiculous as well. Um, even Elgin or Power Back, Brenner being alive, that, that was ridiculous. I was shocked by that, to be honest. I really thought he wasn't going to come back. Even though he's been teasing it for a while. But it's just, I believe, I, I, I really believe that even that theory you're hearing, I believe Eddie is a number. I could believe it for sure. You know, the watch, yeah. And I think if you look close on that watch, you can see something behind it, which is, you know, it convinced me even more. Why does he wear a watch? Why does he never take it off? Even when they jump in the water, he still has it on, which is weird. He always wears a jacket, which is another weird thing. You don't see him without a shirt on, which... I don't know if that's, you know, behind the scenes stuff or just, you know, he's a number. But, you know, there's any possibilities that can happen this season in Volume 2. But I really, I really do hope that that this season, Volume 2, delivers like Volume 1 did. There is one part during Volume 1 that we do see him take his watch off. But he hides his wrist when he takes it off. Mm. After he got wet after when he was with... Uh, after Pat, what happened to Patrick when they met him at Skull Rock and he and one of the kids asked what time did it happen and he took the watch off and threw it at him that's the only time he's took his watch off and he hides his wrist when he does it he never moves after that hmm. Wow. And he never even lifts that arm to catch the watch. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually a really good theory, actually. Um, that that's a really 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 good theory actually. Um, that's that's amazing. Um, that could be true. I mean that still you know, that convinced me even more that he could be a number coming up, you know, like to be able to talk to anything you know, like I don't know what that movie's called, like I think it's Cinderella, I think. No, not Cinderella not Cinderella I can't even say that word. What's that one that she can, like, talk to cubs and stuff? Is it, Cin- is it Cinderella? Mm-hmm. Well, Cinderella. It's like, kind of like Cinderella. She can talk to anything. Clocks, uh, teacups, stuff like that. Like, what if he can be able to talk to trees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like that, that right there. Like, just, just like that. that. It could be like that. He could be able to talk to Demogorgon and stuff like that. Like, that script we read, with that video we watched, like, prediction, that was a pretty spot-on prediction. Mm-hmm. Even though it, not everything was right, but it was really good, to be honest with you. And that character that we saw for literally... Everybody was going crazy over that goth dude wearing blue bandana. Thought everybody thought he would be a main character. I mean, it could be, in my opinion, what I thought when I first saw him. He, he could be Peter, trying to you know trying to listen in. You know how like my player always listens. He could be trying to listen in on what you know like what they're trying to do. Could be. That's just what I think. To be honest with you. Um. Yeah, but do, do you have any more questions for me? I have a couple. Okay, bet. First one is how does the mind flare fit in to the storyline? Okay. Well, I believe that the mind flare is like you know like the boss of everything. Owns Vecna, owns Demogorgon, owns everything. 
I think that he's like it's kind of like what Dustin said. Vegna is his five star general. He's trying to impress the mind flayer to allow him to be able to have what the mind flayer has, and that's everything. Have like, to be able to show him everything that he wants to, you know, wants to know, and, and you know, has the power to do whatever he wants to. He's trying to, he's trying to open more gates. It's not that Vecna is trying to kill more people, so you can open gates for the mind flare to, you know, to rule the world. Okay. Second question is, what's up with the time and the upside down? Mm, that's a hard one, actually. Um, there's a lot of theories about that. It could be in the future, which that was already proved wrong when Nancy was in her room reading her diary. It's the last diary note was November 6, 1983. That's the same day Will went missing. Which, you know, some I've heard some theories about the very first episode that we already seen Vecna when he was running on his bicycle. He was going down and his light turned off. He looked up. He saw something. And to me, it's the Demogorgon, but people say it's Vecna. And I don't know why people say it's Vecna. It could be that it could be that it look it look like Vecna, but I, I'm not sure. But I believe that the time is that whenever the Mind Flayer strikes, or Demogorgon, he's connected to the Mind Flayer. Whenever the the, the, the the Demogorgon strikes, I believe that that's when the time stopped and the upside down. Because whenever whenever he kills somebody, time stops, and and that's what I think. Okay. Do you think we're gonna see time travel like them going back to eighty three in the actual world, not the upside down? Um You know, really in this show anything's possible with me to be honest with you, but I'm not even sure I that's something I don't hope that happens. I don't wanna see time travel. My in my opinion, I don't wanna see time travel. Maybe in the upside down that's fine. But not in the real world because that would just ruin the whole point of the show, in, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. But um, even if we do see time travel, like real time time travel, I believe that if they go back, they're gonna try to stop Will from being captured, like kill the Dem- kill the Demogorgon before he can even kidnap Will or send him upside down. Um, that's gonna be a weird, weird combination. Trying to see Joyce Young and all them characters drawn like that. That's gonna be really weird seeing that. But it could be, it could be done with all the CGI they're doing now. I was, it was you know, L back in '79. That was amazing CGI, and I think that they could do it. But and, and that's probably why that they're still working on eight nine because that's you know that's could be it. But you never know with, with this show. Yeah. This is a controversial question. A lot of people okay. think it's true. Okay. And some people think it's not. But okay. is Will gay? Ooh, that's a big question right there. We're probably gonna be careful with this one. Um, is Will gay? I mean, it's been <coughs> excuse me, it's been teased so much this season. I mean, even in season two, season three, even when you know, when, when I first thought he was gay when freaking Mike said it's not my fault you, you don't like girls, and Will didn't, you know, Will didn't say he liked girls that time. He just ran away. He just walked away and destroyed Castle Byers, but. I don't know if he has. I mean, if there's any logical sense that he likes a character, it's gonna be Mike, because in season four he's making a painting about it. Could you know there could be a theory about this? It could be the answers to Vecna. It could be the answers to Vecna, and that's why he's holding out because because he, he don't know Vecna's there. Which I don't know how, but I mean you know they're in California and and everything about Vecna's happening in Hawkins, but I'm not sure about that. Um. It could be Mike, his you know love letter to Mike, which I believe that's probably probably what's going to be in my opinion. Um, I I still believe I and yes to answer your question, yes he is gay. In my opinion, I think he's gay, only because there's been so much so much like him opening up trying saying that it's hard to open up your actual feelings to people that you love, especially back in that time people would would not like the way that you were if you like people now would not live with themselves back in the eighties. In my opinion. Okay. And the final question. What are the Russians doing with a Demogorgon? Oh, that is a hard one to answer. Um, maybe they have a gate. And that's how they get to the gate to season five. Maybe. I'm not I'm not totally sure about that. Um, 
Season five is going to be a big season, but to answer your question, I'm not sure. I don't know yet. We'll have to see what happens. I mean, they could they could be using like a dead Demogorgon and using it to try to like like kind of like Walt Disney, you know, like he was frozen in time, kind of like that, kind of like freezing them and then using them later on, you know, when they need them when one dies, which I don't, which I'm, I'm guessing that one that they had captured up and it's still off. Um, I think that you know, you know, like. That could have been the very first one, you know? Yeah. And this made me think of another question. In the season, or the volume two teaser that you see after you finish watching the show, when it shows the clip of Hopper and Murray going into the room that's got the Mon Flare in it, how did they get the Mon Flare in Russia? Ooh, yeah, that that one I'm oblivious of. I have no clue. Um, but to even try to answer that question, probably be like uh, they they I don't know like, like lured it, maybe lured it. I'm not sure. Maybe even trying to. I I, I don't know. I, I really don't know to be honest with you. Maybe uh, I'm not sure. That's a hard question. I don't know that yet. Maybe after volume two, I'll, I'll understand that. But I have no clue to answer that question. Okay. Um. At the end of Volume One, we see Nancy getting taken by Vecna. Do you think she will survive that, or do you think she's Vecna's next victim? Um. I really believe that. Um. If Vecna is going to kill somebody, it's probably going to be Nancy. To, if I'm being honest with you, either Nancy, Will, Lucas, Mac, that's my... Or Eddie, even Eddie, even though I hate to say that, but it could be Eddie as well. Um, Maybe, um, and will she survive it or die? I, I, I don't know yet. Um, She could die, and, you know, I could say happen. She really, she's a great character, don't get me wrong. But she really she has plot armor for sure. But how much plot armor? That's the real question. Everybody has plot armor, but how much plot armor? She's the lower plot armor, if you ask me. Like you know, top tier plot armor: L, Hopper, Joyce, and I can see them dying as well. But I think L, L, in my opinion, she. I don't know if she's gonna die or not. But to answer, to answer your question about Nancy, I think that she'll survive it by Eddie. I think Eddie, Steve will tell Eddie his her favorite song, and they're already. They're, they're already in his trailer. All he has to do is grab his guitar, go to the upside down, and there you go. That's that's what I think. Maybe. I doubt it just because that they're all suited up for something big, and it don't make sense because it happened that fast. But I, I don't know. I think she'll survive it. That's just my opinion because she's, she's already in the trailer, and I don't think she'll – they'll probably kill her off season five. But that's what I think. And I kind of have a question for you right now, Ty. Okay. Okay, so – do you think in season five or even maybe even season four do you think l not die do you think she'll be sent to the upside down to make it a good place and then change it to, and you know like make them close the gate and like you know, to like to protect her friends from anything bad happening and she'll just control the upside down from there i feel like she'll quote unquote sacrifice herself to kill vecna kind of like she did with the Demogorgon, how she got taken with it, and how she did Henry, or 001 or whatever, yeah. I'm going to call him, and kind of what it showed was them breaking apart into atoms. I feel like she'll do that and get taken when she does it to Vecna. So, so it's, it's kind of like a callback in, in season one? Yeah. Okay. And from there... I feel like at the end of season five, we'll see her kind of turning the upside down into something that's not bad. Okay. So, what do you think would be like the main villain, the mind player in season five, or, or, or like, what do you think? Do you think that going to be the mind player? Like, that going to be the main character of season five as well? Because you know, like, we all got to keep in mind that season five is the last official season. Could have ten episodes, could have nine, could have eight, could have seven, could only have three or four. I mean, we don't know. But if they're gonna make this a good season, I mean, I don't like saying this at all. 
but not quote unquote kill L, but make her to the. I mean, that's a great theory I've heard. I've heard that theory a many of times, but a million times. But I really hope that she goes upside down, make it a good place. But like, what would they do for season five? I think that'll be the end of season five, in yeah. my opinion. I kind of feel like the end of season five is either going to be that or it's going to be them just fully killing off pretty much every main character and kind of put forward like a new set of characters kind of like they did with it in the remake. To some extent. I feel like they're going to. Kill off everybody. Everybody's going to sacrifice their self. Or something. And they're going to. Pretty much just kill off everybody. And then they're going to create. Like a side show. Of new characters. To kind of bring it back okay you know that's a really dark ending in my opinion that's really dark and in my opinion i don't like that theory just because it would not be the same with new characters in my opinion it it would not be the same that's just my opinion you know like i mean you could have like stranger things 2 like it's already Stranger things 2 season 2 but like you can have like stranger things 2 new characters i mean i'll be okay with that for sure as long as they're good characters different storyline i'll be perfectly fine with that um um just the first theory I, I like it about L going upside down closing it make sure it's close for good and nobody can get into it I like that theory a lot um it's just I don't think that I really hope they don't kill off every character I mean they're gonna kill off a few I, I know for a fact that they will kill off a few characters in season 5 like a lot maybe even Hopper maybe Joyce maybe Murray I mean, I mean, Murray could die in season four. Murray's a big target as well. Like, mm-hmm. He has no plot armor. He's a little, he is a little bit plot armor. Now he does. He's, you know, black car, black car, black bell in karate now, which is amazing. Um, But I believe, in my opinion, I believe that the first theory is more, is more of our fantasy. But the second one's probably like the, the logical one to do. Like, if, if, if you want more money views for netflix that's the second one you go with that one for sure also i kind of feel like the way it'll end is them killing off some characters of course and then them later on like a couple years make a show of them like make a reboot of all them grown up okay that's that's kind of like they did with it oh yeah oh yeah that's great that's actually really good um well, I think we're gonna wrap it here, up here, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the podcast, um, let us know if you want more of Stranger Things or even maybe Cod or, or anything you want us to talk about. You know, stay tuned for maybe tomorrow that we're gonna do on each episode our review of it, like episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the future. Just let us know if you want that, and um, if you enjoyed, let us know, and we'll see you guys later.